Okay, this is our FM transmitter. It can be used to play the audio from any device over your vehicle stereo. Okay, it's great. So, um, what you do is, the first thing you do is, you find an empty space on your radio. So that's the first thing you have to do. So you hear this, when you hear the static, this one happens to be 95.3, then you know that this is where you want to be. Okay, next step is we take it out of the box, and it comes with a lighter adapter that you can plug right into your lighter. Now you take take the cord out of, it comes with like a stash for the cord for this plug so that you, uh, you know, so you don't have to, uh, hold on, he's going to put the power cord in first. Okay, plug the power cord in. Okay, you got your red light on there telling you that you got power to the power cord. Now, the audio jack on the device comes with this really cool little port that plugs it in so that the wire is kind of hidden. Unplug the wire and get the wire out. Now that's what you would plug in to your iPod or the out of your laptop, which works really well actually with the laptop mounts. And um, now you have to tune this thing. Now this thing has 10 preset channels. And what that means is, he's powering it up. And what that means is that if you drive all over the country, sometimes you need different blank channels. Now what he's going to do is he's going to tune it to 95.3, which is where we're at right now. You probably can't see the screen so great, but you know. When he locks on, you'll hear the radio static stop. There, see how the static stopped? Now he's going to take his iPod, and he's going to plug his iPod in, and then you'll hear the music from the iPod right with no wires right on your stereo. He's booting it up. There you go. Now the sound quality is really good. Now obviously, the sound quality depends on two things. It depends on how dead the channel is you're using, meaning that you want a really dead channel. You know, just all static, no radio stations, because then you're fighting that. It also depends on other things that interfere, and you know, the placement of the device to the radio, I usually sit mine up on top of the dash, but I mean, you know, you, you, there, it can it works theoretically three meters away. You know, for the price you're paying for this, it's not like the eighty dollar ones, but for the price that you're paying for this, it's a great device. I've used one in my vehicle for probably about four years now. Now unplug the iPod and show them how it'll work with any any MP3 player, anything with that one eighth inch stereo jack, it'll work with. Now there's another iPod, another uh, MP3 player, it's a little Sanyo, and you can hear the sound quality is very good. Now what you have to do is, you, with that, well, no matter what device you're using, you always have to balance your volume. So you have to figure out what volume level works good as an input volume for this device. So sometimes you have to turn it up a little bit on the iPod. Sometimes you have to turn it down a little bit. But once you find the right space, then this thing will transmit it to your radio in crystal clarity. It also has a temperature sensor. Now in addition to all that, it will also charge USB devices, which means if you take a USB light and plug it in you'll see here how it lights up now what this means is it means that you have an emergency charger for your iPhone or whatever if you have the right USB dongle the USB port will power it just like any other USB port which is great now that's as long as it's plugged in to the out to the, your lighter if it's running on batteries, it doesn't work that way. Now we're going to demonstrate that. Unplug the USB light. Now unplug the power source for the device. Now put your batteries in. 
Now what this does is, you're using batteries, it makes it to where this device is completely portable and you can use it with a boom box out in a park or whatever. Upside down, that's upside down, there you go. So, now power it up. Now it'll give you about six hours of completely portable use. Hold it. It's not connected to anything. It's got your MP3 player with the battery in the MP3 player, and then your transmitter with the battery in the transmitter. And then what that allows you to do is go to a park or whatever, any place you don't have a power source, and you can play it through a boom box or something else, which we do a lot. We go have a picnic, and we use this device with a battery in it, and we transmit to our portable boom box our own playlist, and it's just, it's great, and it's cheap. Alrighty, so that pretty much sums it up. Uh, I love mine. It's way better than buying one of those $80 ones, the name brands ones. It works pretty good and sounds great. Have a good one.